I'm Joshua Wong, activist from Hong Kong, also the writer of Unfree Speech. And here is my time to say a few words about my update and my analysis on the democracy movement in Hong Kong. Since the first protest movement in 2012, which is the anti-national education movement, we strongly aware how Beijing continue hope to tightening the freedom of Hong Kongers. Especially since the anti-national education movement, umbrella movement, anti-extradition bill movement, until the national security law is implemented to Hong Kong, one country two system is already eroded to be one country one system, and Beijing is just the one eroding the uniqueness of Hong Kong. And the tension of between Hong Kong and Beijing is being escalated by the communist regime. For the second question, my book make an alert much bigger than only about Hong Kong situation because the first is Hong Kong, the next is Taiwan, later on is the rest of the world. We are really aware how Hong Kong people stand in the forefront to, con to confront the largest authoritarian regime crackdown on this global city. If Hong Kong fall, and later on the world may fall. That's why it's not only about the fight of Hong Kong, it's about democracy versus autocracy, freedom and liberal value versus authoritarian ideology. I urge countries around the world and people in different places could support Hong Kong people. Support Hong Kong is not only about the tension between US and China, it's not only the matter of left or right, it's the matter of right or wrong. And with how Hong Kong already facing the threat of the national security law, we might be arrested by secret police, prosecuted in China's court, being jailed in Beijing. I face the risk of life sentencing, and that's the things that we never imagined in the previous day. So when the democracy is being threatened, as how the freedom and those values that we all believe in is being eroded, it's time for the world not to keep silence. We just have to let the world to know that kowtow to China should not be the only way out. We still have possibility to make differences. And for what happening of some of the naive expectation of socialism under the rule of Beijing is still beneficial for the world future development. When journalists, book publisher, activists, scholar and human rights worker are being targeted and we might face the extradition or even life sentencing because of defending human rights. We just hope the fruit experience in Hong Kong led the world to know that democracy and liberal value are those the things that we should cherish instead of have any kind of naive idea or expectation on Beijing. We will continue our protest on strength, advocacy on global platform, organizing labor strike by trade union, uh, gathering students to have class boycott, run for office, and urge people to vote to legitimize our public support. When Hong Kong turned to be the new era with shooting refract, we still hope to continue to fight until the last breath. And my message to the Western world and for the global community is to stand with Hong Kong when the clock is kicking and time is running out in Hong Kong. Thank you.